rolls sick intro music. <laughs> I have no intro music. What's up? What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. So uh, this uh, this took longer than anticipated. It is uh, it's 8:43. Uh, the goal was eight, and there was just a little bit of confusion, you know, because we needed booze, you needed to lift, and, uh, you know, it's just kind of hard to uh, get the best of both worlds sometimes, but we got there just a little bit more late than anticipated. Yeah, that's all that matters. Hell that's yeah. Right Hell yeah. Does Sophia know what we're doing right now? Yeah, actually. Cool. Sophia, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, internet friends, uh, you know, they're still dear friends of mine. Uh, Drew is dating a female named Sophia, and she is okay with him going out tonight. So that is, uh, that is the status. You're such an asshole. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just gotta, gotta make things clear. You know, it's nice to have a functional relationship where, uh, where you, you know, you, uh, you get to go and do things. And Drew gets to go and do those things. So shout out Sophia. I know you're watching right now. Smack like. Hashtag Drew and a Jew. What? <laughs> hashtag Drew and a Jew. Oh, yeah. Sophia's Jewish, by the way. So, hashtag Drew and the Jew. A Jew. Not the Jew. That sounds kind of... Drew weird. and a Jew. Yeah. Not yeah, the yeah, Jew. She's not the only one. It's not <laughs> plural. <laughs> like, just one Jew and it's Sophia. Oh. So, speaking about Jews... <laughs> We're off to a great start, dude. I'm not wearing socks, bro. I feel disgusting. I'm just going to keep my feet down for this No, I right love there. barefoot, bro. You feel that environment. Uh, the one with that carpet. Yeah. No, yeah, those just like fucking particles. But there, it's like in my heart, I know there's some dude with a foot fetish just like stoked about this. Yo, no bullshit. You can sell pitches at your feet and make money. I'll do it. It's, it's, a re- it. it's a real thing. Leave a comment below if you're a freak, and I will <laughs> toss you that snap, son. You know, I'm pretty sure they have like a cash app to go on the snap, too. Huh? Snapchat box or something? Yeah, yeah. that sounds familiar. A dollar a toe. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Each toe is a one dollar. You know, we'll get there. Dude. <laughs> Ten bucks for a full shot? That ain't bad, dude. That's kind of a bargain. Hey, it would be really fucking cool. There's fucking people with food fetishes. Where they mm. pay people to watch them eat. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be fuck. really cool. wonder if they ever feed each other or if they just like watching other people eat. That's a good question. You ever get spoon fed in recent years? Is that like a kinky years? Not in like a sexual way, in like a sarcastic, like, ah, feed me. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but not but like, not hey, like I'm horny, feed. feed me this food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people have that, man. People have everything. Oh, and I'm not judging. I mean, it's not me. It's, it's not, it's not, not me. It's not, it's not me. It's not me, but it's definitely out there. Oh, yeah. There's some weird kinks out there. What's the weirdest kink you've heard of? Oh, God. Um, I feel rude. My phone's just on my lap. What a asshole. <laughs> You know, I guess, I don't know. There's the, actually, furries. Furries? Furries are probably the weirdest fetish. Dude. You want <laughs> that to I've heard of. Not judging. If that's your thing, you do you. I want everybody to be happy. I just find it strange. Just because it's not my thing. But if that's your thing, you be happy. You want know, a great title to a video? We became furries for a week. Jesus. That's, I'd click on that, dude. I'm going to make that. If any of you sons of bitches take that idea from me, so help me God, I am... But we What's just that titled movie? a podcast episode that we became furries for a week. Podcast episode two. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> and then uh, Cole, Cole fucking uh, Shepetsky, he's going to be clickbait. That's clickbait. They didn't actually do it. And, yeah, thumbs down. Clickbait. <laughs> Shout out to Cole, buddy. Clickbait. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to. That's what people need to understand. You have to have an interesting title. But what's neat is... When I titled my video the other day, Car Bursts Into Flames, there's literally a vehicle that bursts into flames. It's not even clickbait, bro. Mm-mm. That's real fucking life. Unbelievable. I think the big problem is when the thumbnail is super clickbait. If that makes sense. But like that's Rice, like, like Rice Gum, for example, like we'll put a thumbnail. Of just a thought? Yeah. Like, Bust naked, down Batiala. Like, just covering <laughs> shit, and the video has nothing to do with that. That's a problem. Clickbait titles, you gotta do what you gotta do. The only thing I don't like about Race Gum is how much Supreme he wears. I just think he's... And his beef with H3H3, I like Ethan, you know? And shout out to Ethan's girl, you know? You may be a little quiet, but you're down for the men, you know? You're out here trying. That was a low blow when he went after her. It was a low blow, you know? But maybe some speech lessons won't hurt her. (laughs) She is very quiet. (laughs) Yeah. But she's hot, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, she just needs to, like, a little more octaves. Is that the right word? 
Yeah, more octaves, higher range, yeah. Higher, yeah, that's right. Uh, or pitch would probably be. No, pitch is like you're singing. Um, maybe it is octaves. Decibels. More decibels? Is I that think that's like? how you measure sound. So maybe. I don't know. Let us know in the what comments below. What if I wanted to measure my <laughs> penis with decimals? How would I do that? With decimals? De oh, that's... You got a small dick? I'm <laughs> 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 in decibels. Come on, bro. Like, you know, you just turn on like... Oh, dude. That brings me to another thing. Um, I think uh, the kind of music, too, you listen to, like... I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'd want to be friends with someone that specifically listens to heavy metal. I think they're just a little bit, like, intense in real life. Like, is some of that... But then again, I listen to rap music, and that's about, like, you know, murdering people sometime, and ne never have I just gone down the block and fucking... Well, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the fucking I mean, rival <laughs> gangs across the street, guys. I got... I got bills to pay. Listen, there's crack rocks in the ceiling, guys. I'm trying to slang along the rockety rocks, son, and fucking... Tyrone Tigerian is okay. That, that's that's Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, no. But, Tyrone Biggums, that's I think who you were thinking of. I, I was just Dave Chappelle, Tyrone Biggum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Shout out to Dave Chappelle. I'm sure he's watching right now. <laughs> Yo, I cut you off about 30 minutes ago, and you were gonna say something. And when I say 30 minutes, I mean probably roughly the last five minutes. Mm, gosh, the fuck if I... Oh, measuring your dick with decibels. No, so it was even I got before an idea. then, but okay, go oh, off of this. Oh, so. so I got an idea, okay. So what you do is you get a decibel meter. Uh -huh. I think that's what they're called. Don't quote me on that. And you basically just you just flop around the table. Mm. And then the sound it makes. Oh, you can find, like, oh, create, like, oh uh, like, shit, dude. You to figure that out. Dude, you know I'm, I'm going to have to censor this out. We need a fucking patent, bro. <laughs> that's genius. Are you kidding me? You need, like, a... And you know people would buy that, too. Yeah, yeah, there'd have to be, like... <laughs> it, it would capture the thud, not the sound. So whatever, like, little bit of air pressure, like the rippling effect of an explosion, you know? If you got that, you got yourself a big dick, bro. You know? <laughs> That's the way to do it. You ever see those bitches with, like, the super big titties that crush beer cans? Yeah, that's terrifying. Disgusting. Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> not my type of lady, but there is a man out there for you. Like, and it's the guy slapping his dick on a table with, like, fucking <laughs> whatever. Are we going to start that pound. thing, crushing beer cans with your dick? Oh, yes. God. Yeah, dude. You're going to send so many people to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shout out Stitches, bro, because that's what I'm going to need. <laughs> fucking Molly Cyrus on my dick, Jesus. son. <laughs> Speaking of Stitches, I haven't heard a thing about him since that. Or since that interview where we dropped the N-word, like, 20 times. Stitches is white, right? As fuck. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what's interesting. I mean, nobody cared about Takashi saying the N word. I think you see, it's different when a minority says it than when a white guy says it, because white yeah. guys have a history of uh, not being the greatest. And it's gonna come back and bite us in the ass one day. I just spilt that on my forehead. I don't know how I did it. Did you see it? <laughs> no, I missed it. it. Like, I don't know. Like, I just can't drink drinks properly. Maybe I've had too many. Also, if you're wondering, like, James, your cheeks are rosy as all hell. Um, they just get really red when I take a shower. And due to, like, you know, having to get booze, having Drew go to the gym, and having to do this, it, I just don't really have time, you know? I, I go to work, I come back, I make content, I do some James things, maybe play a video game, go to bed, do it again. Speaking of video games, have you tried Apex? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The fuck you mean is okay. Uh, now, I'm trying not to hop on the bandwagon as quick as everyone else. That's fair. That's just fair. because it's a bandwagon. But, you know, I'm sure it's more than okay. I've taken one dub. How many dubs have you taken? I plead the fifth. <laughs> have you not won yet? <laughs> no, I've won. I will say, the one game that I won, I, uh, I was carried a massive amount. I think Jade and I took the dub. Yeah, Jade, me... And Alaskan Slow Ride. Shout out both y'all. We took that dub. Clap that shit. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Jade's a very cocky game player. I love it. Very competitive. <laughs> he's uh, he's the first to let you know if you're not good at the game. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jade's the kind of guy that like he'd rather play solos than with his best friend who's not that good at the game. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I, <get that. laughs> I was never a terrific Fortnite player, but 
I was okay. I, I think where I struggled is I, like, in the middle of playing, like, I was doing good on controller, and then, like, I got on this huge PC bandwagon, and I'm like, oh, we're playing keyboards. And I just, like, wasn't, uh, I wasn't terrific at that for a while. And I'm still not. It's a big learning curve. Oh, I can imagine. Going from fucking this to fucking yeah, this dude. all the time. Like, mm-hmm. Jesus. Tough stuff. So, uh, what do you think about Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Is it a conspiracy? Disgusting. Disgusting. You think they're reusing that shit? I don't know how else you would explain that. Right, yeah, They no. put out a statement saying that we... It was really, really weird. Yeah, they how said they worded they, it? Yeah. It's like, fuck, we have to make a statement, eh. Yeah, e- yeah. exactly. And, it, like, it just didn't make sense. Like, we make all of our pizzas individual and then pair them together or something like that. that what? So, like, they make sense. each slice of pizza and then put it together? I'm pretty sure that's what they stated. Wouldn't that be a lot of extra work? You know, wouldn't yeah. you rather make one full pizza and then cut it in half? What I could see them doing is, uh, say somebody got a half pizza, or half pepperoni, half cheese, they'd make a full pepperoni and a full cheese, and then they'd cut each of those in half, cause then, and then they'd probably reuse the other half that wasn't used for another pizza, but that doesn't explain each individual piece being different. Mm-mm. I used to love Chuck E. Cheese, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We don't even have one here. You ever go to Planet Pizza as a kid? Do you even have to ask? Dude, Planet Pizza was the titties, bruh. We should make a road trip to Minot, because Minot still has one. <laughs> Can we go as furries? Uh, duh. Yeah, this is going to be the furry <laughs> adventure, bruh. I'm down to go as furries, dude. When was the last time you took a train someplace? I have never taken a train. Never taken a train? Anywhere. You want to go to Seattle? I mean, I guess eventually. The, the only reason why I ask is because, like, we definitely have a trainway that goes directly to seattle and it's not expensive at all otherwise i would never go to seattle no offense like this this is not really a place you got that one fucking thing from the infinity game what am i thinking of i don't know infamous the infamous games one of those games took place in seattle that's as much as I know about Seattle. I mean, they're headquarters for a lot of places. Heroin use. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> a lot oh, of heroin businesses, so, I, mean, I guess that works, but... So you think Elon Musk is ever going to do meme review? Uh, I mean, he fucking better. I'm getting sister salty, son. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's taking a little too long for me. Yeah, that was, what, like three weeks ago? Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. He did reply, was it earlier this week or last, like late last week? He said I, something in Norway. Yeah. I remember he tweeted back at him. And PewDiePie was there. In Norway? Uh, yeah, he went on Valentine's Day vacation with Marzia there. So the Plot twist, they met up and planned it, Yeah. and they're just playing it off for the public. To yeah, maybe they're going to wait till the subscriber count gets like 3,000 in between T-Series and PewDiePie. By the way, that fucking, not, like, this isn't the point of the video, but if you're not subscribed to PewDiePie, go leave, subscribe, come back, because there is a war going on, I don't even want to get into it, because most of the people I'm talking to probably don't even care. But if you care about me, you'll go subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> so how's that book? Uh, whew, I wish I could tell you, but I am not the most driven individual person in the world. I've read a chapter. You know what you should do? That I did? Audible. Audible? Audible. You sign it. It's audio Do books? I have to repay for the book? No. Maybe okay, there's so. a code, dude. If there's a code on the inside... Oh, oh by the way, this is uh, Jordan B. Peterson, 12 Rules for Life and Antidote to Chaos. Shout out to Jordan Peterson. If you haven't heard Jordan Peterson speak, listen to him on the Joe Rogan Experience. It's, it's phenomenal every time he's on. A cool guy, great guy, awesome guy. Good book, I'm sure of it, but yeah. <laughs> um audible audible so this ain't no plug <laughs> <laughs> um audible you basically it's, it's through um amazon yeah and when you sign up you get two free audible like any book credits so any book you want like it mm-hmm. doesn't matter like i wasn't gonna get the game of thrones one i didn't but if you look online um those ones are like 20 25 bucks and it's like the full book um you get two free books just for signing up. You get two Audible originals and then one extra one. I don't listen to them. But, um, so it's like a Netflix original series, but a book? Yeah. That's crazy, dude. That's um, next level shit. And even if you cancel your membership, even after your free trial, because you get a month free and you get two free books, even if you cancel it, you keep the books forever. 
Just because Amazon's got stupid paper. <laughs> and they don't care. Slightly <laughs> off-topic idea. I wonder how much of a book we could have already filled with the dialogue alone of this conversation. Like, how many... How many pages into this would we be if it just recorded everything we said and typed it into this book? And would the New York Times talk about my book? Because God damn it, it's going to be an amazing fucking book. The New York Times probably wouldn't because you're a Trump supporter and they hate everyone who isn't a Democrat. See, but I'm like a moderate Trump supporter, you know? I'm still a nice guy. <laughs> you know? I'm sure 99% of people are, but... Sometimes I'll different. say stuff like grab him by the pussy. That's just because it's a meme, you know? <laughs> like, I, I like to play. I touched on this yesterday. If you haven't like heard me talk about this whole thing, just go back to yesterday's podcast. I don't even need to reiterate, but uh, Alex Jones is insane. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What was your first clue? Uh, I, that Pink Trap video really, uh, really got to me. I don't go out of my way to watch Alex Jones at all. But uh, there's an amazing video made by Pink Trap. I would cite the video and watch it right now with you guys, other than just saying who made the video. But I don't want to get a copy strike. I got that for yesterday's video. So if yesterday's video makes any money at all, it goes to the NFL. <laughs> just drop the link in the description. Definitely worth the watch. Yeah, I'll drop the. I'll put the link. I won't forget. It's a great video if you want to like really truly see how absolutely insane Alex Jones is. You know? I, I mean, you, you could probably already tell by the interdimensional child monsters <laughs> yeah. or they're turning the frogs gay. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. If that what? if that wasn't a surefire sign, you know, <laughs> uh, his views about Joe Rogan being in the CIA will definitely get you. <laughs> will definitely get you. God. So, uh, who is that uh, African American actor that's in a controversy right now? Pretty sure he's just black. Um, What's the difference? Okay, if I was just okay, thought, okay, yes, was, I okay. thought it was politically correct. It is politically correct, <clears throat> but I'm not politically correct all the time. You were born in Africa and you came here, then you're African American. If you were born here, you're just black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Shout yeah. out to Don Parsons. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> 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 buddy? Okay. Um, Oh, and Terrence Adams. And Terrence Adams. He lives here, dude. I love speaking with Terrence. I only see him in the elevator. It's set. Uh, are you oh. hanging out with Kyle all the time, dude? Fucking Kyle. 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 <laughs> Fucking Kyle. Right. Oh, okay. So, Jussie. I think it's Jussie. It's J-U-S-S-I-E. Jussie. I'm going to assume it's Jussie. Okay. Smollett. Um, he is a gay black man who mm -hmm. is one of the main stars of Empire. I've never seen it. I have not either, but it's... Do they play Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z and Beyonce? Because if they don't, and that's not the intro, I am 100% not interested. <laughs> but if that's what rolls, is like it's getting in, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my shit. Like, okay, know. so, um, anyways, big star of Empire. <clears throat> um, so it was about 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. According to him, it was 2 o'clock. And he decided to go to Subway, because in Chicago, Subway's open 24-7. I think it's bullshit that our Subways aren't open 24-7. But, but on... Okay, just like the pendulum here... Oh wait, the pendulum's the, something that swings. Uh, what's this? Just an average scale? Like an old scale? Yeah. Okay, so our Subways may close early, but we also have like 20 of them. Okay, that's fair. How many Subways do we have? Like, try to count, like, just in your head as quick as you can. Because there's a fucking lot. We only have four, don't we? No, dude. Like, each Walmart has a subway. So two. So the one two. by Little Caesars. Yeah, the one by Little Caesars. The then one connected one, to Little Caesars. The, the one by El Rocco. So now we're at four, okay? And then there's another one on uh, 32nd, I'm pretty sure. Is it? I thought it yeah. closed. No, it closed. It's a bank now, isn't it? Or is it still open by the bank? Uh, The subway down here closed. Downtown. That subway closed. There was one downtown, but there's still one right across the bridge, which is technically in Minnesota, same neighborhood, whatever. <laughs> so there's another subway. I don't know, man. I swear, if we thought hard about it, there's at least seven. But which pisses me off. It really pisses <clears throat> me off, because I would rather have one subway that's decently staffed 
than seven scattered subways with one person working on them. Because nothing pisses me off more than walking into subway. Okay, so, like, how it works here, kind of, is you got, like, your subway, your caribou, your little Caesars, and they're all just kind of conjoined to a, in, into a building together. Yeah, it's really weird. Right? There's a couple subways connected right? to the, a Little Caesars. Right, okay, so the subway is connected to the Little Caesars. The Little Caesars will have eight people working in the subway will have one and it's just the fucking worst it's like i wanted to eat healthy today and you're gonna make me wait 30 minutes you fucking son of a bitch did you notice that though like the little caesars is always super staffed like they're either paying better or people just don't subscribe to the idea of eating healthy probably a little bit of both a little bit of both <laughs> hell yeah it's like well if i'm gonna steal food from work i want it to be the little caesars food come on what do you think i mean sub every day you son of a bitch <clears throat> Empire. Black dude. Okay. <laughs> so, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, in the middle of a polar zone, I think is the term for it. Okay? It was sub-zero temperatures outside that night. Okay? He's a famous actor. He's got stupid fucking money. you telling me he couldn't use Grubhub, he couldn't use DoorDash, Postmates, nothing. No, he wanted to walk. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, he's walking, he goes to the subway, yeah. he's leaving with the subway sandwich mm -hmm. he's on the phone with his manager at this time like his so, agent like his uh they, like, they say manager so i'm assuming if i had a little bit more whatever. clout it would be the guy i talked to yeah i'm assuming okay. so. the guy that would tell me not to say stuff like fuck 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 yeah okay yeah <laughs> okay so um you know what cctv is right like, i know what ptsd is very scary stuff <laughs> Same thing, I guess. <laughs> okay. So CCTV is basically like um, all the cameras yeah. are ran by like CCTV or some shit like that. It's like okay. a big like um, camera network and security yep. network. So these are all over Chicago. So they see him walking. He's got a Subway sandwich in his hand. And then they lose him. He goes into an alley or something. Okay. He, I can't remember exactly how long he was gone. But you see him kind of like stumble out. Of the alley. Of the alley. But you just see, you see him walk in with confidence, right? And then he's like, I'm trying to leave. Yeah, like stumbling. Okay, okay. yeah. <clears throat> um, he's got a, I think it was a, I've heard clothesline and I've also heard rope. So yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say noose. Bust it was down like, thought to Yana, bro. You <laughs> fucking string that son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> so he's got this noose thing around his neck. I don't know exactly the material. That's what he came out with, right? Yeah. He's like, okay. I managed to bite it off yeah. and get away. Still holding his Subway sandwich, also. Okay? So he is on the. Okay. I want to see you bust down. <laughs> so then he goes back to his apartment. The song is aggressively stuck in my head. And he waits about 40, 45 minutes. And then calls the police. He's like, hey, there's been a hate crime. There were two people in mega hats. Um, they were shouting racial slurs. They were shouting gay slurs at him. Because that's what the gangs are. And yeah. they beat him up. And they yelled, this is MAGA country, N-word. Okay? They're in the middle of fucking Chicago. <laughs> Arguably the least white city in America. <laughs> okay? The middle That's of that Chicago. Elon Musk laugh, the ha. <laughs> <laughs> At two in the morning in sub zero temperatures. And he had like a couple like bruised ribs and a couple scratches on his face. You think you're he just telling went me there and beat himself up? You're, no, no, there were two people there. I'm oh. getting there. So he, he wanted everyone to believe that two dudes beat him up. For being like black. Like, full-grown dude for being yeah. black and for being gay. Two full-grown dudes beat him up. Well, how did they And he know? walked out. He walked out with just two scratches on his face. Can't remember where they were. So... And a couple bruised ribs. They're living in South Side Chicago. I believe right? it was the South... Eh, South Side Chicago, yes. Right. And... They're... This doesn't make any sense. There's black people everywhere in Chicago. I've been to Chicago. Decent place. Okay place. If you go to the right places, it's fantastic you know you see the bean you go up in that one really tall building there's like a glass floor and you're like oh my god look at that hole <laughs> <laughs> you know you walk a little bit to the left you got fucking gangs bro i i that wouldn't that be funny though if there was uh some mega gang you know and they're just trying to like sell right-wing politics instead of drugs <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> just fighting all the liberals that doesn't exist <laughs> like, fuck where was i you want started 
No. <laughs> dude, I am down to start a gang right now. I don't think you should put that on the internet. <laughs> oh, dude. Gang of son. Gang, gang, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely kidding. You have to say stuff when you're joking, though. God, I hate. I should have worn socks. Son of a bitch. I want you. $10, you can look at my feet. I swear to God. <laughs> So was there any repercussions? Was he proven wrong? Like, what happened? I'm getting there. Okay. So Sorry, I keep talking. Calls the police about 40, 45 minutes later. Police come to his door. Yeah. This motherfucker still has the noose around his neck. No. Yep, and he refused to give them his phone. <laughs> so so they the cops are going to shoot me. He <laughs> did that to preserve evidence. Oh. And they only found his fingerprints on the news or what? I have no idea. There haven't been any. There hasn't been any releases like that. Lowe's okay, one. so <clears throat> this is a big deal. He goes on Good Morning America, all this and that. Well, they found the people. Yeah. Two Nigerians. <laughs> Wait, okay, actually, I guess they're not Nigerians because I heard that they were born in Chicago, but they're of Nigerian descent, so they say that they're Nigerian for whatever reason. I don't get it. I but was yeah. born in the and states, these, and I was. Have Norway to say? I don't even know where my fucking. I should know, dude. I'd spit in a cup and call it 23 and me. By the way, that monitor turned off. Uh, it's still recording. The same thing happened during yesterday's podcast. If you ever watch it, um, this guy gives a little shaky shake. Hmm. I like being able to monitor myself. It lets us know that we're doing good, though. We've held a conversation for this long. <laughs> um, Nigerian. <clears throat> yeah, so they found the two dudes. These motherfuckers are huge! One of them's got a fucking 12-pack. Yeah, and that <laughs> just guy just barely got away. Absolutely huge, him. yeah. And he got away with this Subway sandwich, okay? If you were actually getting the <laughs> shit kicked out of you, I think the last thing you were worrying about is that $5 footlong you just fucking bought. Right. Um, <clears throat> okay, so they interview these two guys, and they claim that he paid them to Dude. do this. And they fi- he finally turned over his phone, there was a bunch of deleted shit... Everything, yeah. So it's looking like a hoax. How if, can you tell if there's deleted shit, though? Well, it's gone. <clears throat> or it's all in the recently deleted section. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, but they said that they, um... I'm assuming there's a way. I'm sure you could hook it up, forensically hook it up to something. And oh, for sure. I guess that makes deleted. sense. Um, there's probably a code written for everything you've seen that's stored someplace. It's just a bunch of numbers that links back to a website. Kind of like a URL, maybe. And, like, those codes... Eh. I guess if it's a text message, you could just, like... Your forensics could be like, Hey, at and Can you give us this? Is that your phone vibrating? Yeah. Okay, I was curious what that was. <laughs> How are you doing on your drink? Uh, a little under half. What's that thing called? It's like ice where you like get on one knee and drink it? Yeah, you just got iced. Yeah, I'm icing you because I'm grabbing another drink, okay? I don't think it works like <laughs> that, but I mean, I <laughs> guess. Do it for the pod, son. <sighs> this is Arnold Palmer, by the way. Okay, so I felt bad. Yesterday on the podcast, I was drinking Budweiser, and I work for a company that distributes Miller Lite, Coors Light, Arnold Palmer spiked and a bunch of other stuff. Tons of stuff. Red Zapple Ale, Angry Orchard. Good job, dude. That was fucking terrific. But Sam, for the podcast, brought over Budweiser. And, you know, what am I not going to drink free beer? Shut the fuck up. So I did that. But just so you guys know, I do have some sort of company integrity. And I do support the cause of drinking the products that uh, that we distribute. So I've been doing a little bit of that. You know, Sam, son, you know, say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fun facts, there are two best kinds of beer. Um, the second best kind is cold. And the first best kind is free. I'll start a co- cult. Cult? Cult? What? Talking what? about cults? No, what the hell is this? Mike's Mango. You know what, Drew? I've never heard of Mike's Mango. That's interesting. I want to go like this with my feet, so why don't you go ahead and be entertaining while I put some <clears throat> socks on? Okay. Wow, just uh, kind of put me on the spot. Um, let's see. I don't really know what the fuck to talk about. Um, Andrew Yang, twenty twenty. Um, you should support him. He's a great guy, from what I've seen. I guess I don't know him personally. Yang, twenty twenty. Thoughts? 
Oh, Yang, this dang in 2020, son, I'll slap it on the table, <laughs> get 12 decibels, and win the PD. <laughs> <laughs> Big dick energy of the year, son. Yo, oh, Santa, BDE, boy. <laughs> BDE, shout out to Josh Peck. <laughs> Josh Peck always says BDE. I don't know the size of his penis, but. He's got a, he's got a podcast too, doesn't he? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, he's a YouTuber, though. No, Peck's got a podcast. Does he? Yeah. He's been on Logan Paul's podcast, which I... I watched that one. What do you think of Logan Paul in 2020? Well, you can't do much worse than filming and laughing a guy that hung himself, so, I mean... Did you think it was offensive when him and his friends said they were gonna go gay for a week? I, I could do this now. I mean, I heard the backlash about it. I guess I didn't see how he said it. Um... I could see how it could be offensive to some people, but 99% of the time, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like, as long as it doesn't directly affect me, do whatever the fuck you want. I really don't they, care. They were joking. I don't think they were actually going to go gay for a week. Or, it was a month. It was a month. But everyone's like, this is worse than the suicide forest. How could you? That's that is stupid. That is, <laughs> that is the, that's the dumbest you thing You put ever. a dead person on camera. And, <laughs> and <you're> laughed. <laughs> how many gay people do you know? Uh, quite a bit. I couldn't put a number on it. Lesbians don't count. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I know a lot of lesbians, to be honest. Really? I, sur- I know a ton of bi girls, dude. Every mm. girl I know, you give them bi a couple drinks. Bi is a lesbian, bi is bi. No, it's not. You give them a couple drinks, they'll eat a puss, but it's always in the back of their mind. Bi is bi, lesbian is a completely different thing. Lesbians don't like dick. Is it? Oh. <laughs> 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 yes. I will confidently say yes. Because I have never met a 100% lesbian that has ever even, like, touched a dick. Ever? Ever. And, I mean, I know a few. And now that I think about it, I know a few. Um, Not a whole lot. Um, But you still know more gay people than lesbians? Lesbians are technically gay. Gay people, oh. I, I <laughs> but yeah, I know more gay guys than gay girls. However, I am closer to people love that the sound. gay women that I know. Yeah, but yeah, that naturally makes sense because you low key want to fuck them. N- no, they're my family members. Oh <laughs> no! Okay, Jesus so God. like in the hypothetical <laughs> situation, we uh, you know. We pack up, we move to Alabama. They're still your family. What do you do? The same shit I've been doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Because it's kind of like, I feel like it's one of those anything slides in an Alabama type. You know, you know, sh- yeah, yeah. Cousin, you know, so Alabama's going to have a blockbuster strike. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're not cool if you can't make fun of your stereotypes. You know? It's like, I don't know how to dance, I'm fucking, you know, but I also don't try to dance, you know, I can floss, and that's just for the meme. Mm. I try, and it's fucking horrendous. Can you do the thing? Or maybe it's this slide. If I have the right song, yes. Yeah! But, like, just, like, randomly without any music, no, I can't, I'm off-key. But if I have a song to go to, then yeah. I don't know why that is, it's really weird. Hell yeah. I wish there was a video I could react to right now without getting copy striked. Honestly, I don't think you can get copy striked if you like if you put your face on the screen and are doing a live reaction. I don't think you can get copy striked. That should be fair use. You're putting commentary over it. So, honestly, if you were still talking while the halftime show was going, yeah, the whole time. Then we never you, even stopped. It wasn't even a straight halftime show. Okay, then you should totally be able to fight that because. But that's a lot of people, use. when they do commentary videos, they're pausing it. It's like now we're gonna talk. We were just straight talking over it, just enjoying the show. But it's like a ten minute video. But still, that's fair or... use. That that's definitely fair use. Now, if you took the clip itself and re-uploaded it, that then they can copy strike you or copyright strike. And this one's carbonated. Is. Have you tasted it? Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. It's fucking amazing, dude. Oh my god. It tastes like those mango candies Shea brought over that one time. Those oh, dehydrated those mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dehydrated mango with carbonation. Fucking amazing. Shout out to Mike's Mango. Yeah. I'm sure a large portion of my audience isn't 21 yet. It's because that's kind of how YouTube skews. I, I think, like, ideally the goal is to have a bunch of 12 year olds buying my merch. 
mean, if it works, it works. If it works, it works, <laughs> right? But I think podcasting is more of a, a mature thing than blogging. As soon as uh, it, on YouTube it has, like, the top three channels that relate to you most... Uh, the number one channel that related to my channel the most was Jake Paul. <laughs> then it went Josh Peck, and then it went PewDiePie. But now they got a new system in place. And a bunch of recommended channels to follow on my channel are, like, a bunch of kid shit. So it's like, does YouTube really know what I'm doing, you know? Like, it has to be an impossible task to manage. You know? Oh, yeah. I think There's not I heard... a line. There's not a line. If I wanted to call and be like, hey, I feel like I was unfairly uh, striked on this video, what can we do about it? There's no number for that. Maybe there's an email I could send, but uh, basically where problems are fixed on YouTube is when the community rises up because they support that creator and they're like, this is unjust, and then they all tweet at YouTube and YouTube's like, Okay, 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 <laughs> we'll take it off. I don't know, we just wrote an algorithm, we don't have that. But it's Google, dude. Google owns YouTube. They should have all the employees. Yeah, I always forget Google owns YouTube. Yeah, if I have a, com if I have a problem with, uh, say, my EVGA graphics card, which is what runs the video games on my computer, and I did have a problem, they have a helpline. You know, I could just call them for any specific issue uh i'm sure paypal even has a helpline so the fact youtube doesn't is ridiculous and forgive me if i'm wrong youtube you know in the unlikely scenario you're watching this video and in, in the even more unlikely scenario you're watching this video and got to this point you know <laughs> dude if somebody's getting paid at youtube to watch youtube videos i want that job i want that oh, job. oh yeah <clears throat> oh yeah but I, I heard today that, like, every minute, there's a stupid amount of content uploaded. Like, over, like, I think a couple hundred hours of content uploaded. Every minute? Every, like, couple minutes or dude, minutes. Dude, that's why it's so hard, dude. They gotta filter through the garbage and uh, decide what's good or not. Like, even ten years ago, I remember this because, like, I looked this up. Like, I was in middle school. Um, even if you started at that very moment, it's impossible to watch every video on YouTube. And that was like 10, 12 years ago. Damn. Yeah. So yeah. I can't imagine what it's like now. Alright, so guess how big the file size of the video I uploaded yesterday was. How long was it? It was 41 minutes. Like how I'm sitting here, like I have like an equation in my head that I'm trying <laughs> to figure out. Um, I'm going to say point... Six nine gigs, thirteen gigabytes. Shut the fuck up. Thirteen gigabytes. Jesus Christ. Because I don't know if you see this quality right now. I'm not even recording with uh, with my good camera. I say that like it's like this is a bad camera. I'm not recording with my good camera. All the footage I took on my iPhone still look pretty uh, pretty decent. But uh, yeah, this is. Oh, speaking of, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Um, there's an app I just downloaded on my phone. Yeah. That I watched a video on YouTube about. Musically. No, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, it's like a video editing thing. Uh, I'll tell you about it right after the podcast. And you do it on your phone? Yeah. Well, like it's, like it it's for videos that... Huh? It would plug it now. Well, I haven't used it, but the reviews that I watch and all that, and um, even like the short videos I saw of the effects that they can do. Yeah. It's called Video Leap, but it's kind of got like a red bunny that looks like it got hit with a frying pan or something. Hell it's yeah. It's going to like fly into the other way, bottom right corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video Leap. I'll just show it right here for the people at home. I do not edit on my phone anymore, but I, I promise you I would have checked it out instead of iMovie when uh, when I did start. Use that Adobe Premiere Pro, son. But, you know, a lot of people have content creation in the back of their mind, and I support anyone and everyone for starting a YouTube channel because, you know, it's a lot. And shit's hard. It's a it's lot really that goes hard. into it. Right now, honestly, like, this conversation is some of the easiest content I'll upload. And that's because it's 100% genuine. Like, uh, And I'm sure it's a lot easier to fucking edit and all that shit as well. Yeah. I can about imagine. Yeah, yeah, there's like little to no editing. The most I'll edit is if we react to something. Which is, fuck yeah. Okay, so you want to react to the news description of that guy getting in trouble for hiring those two Iranians? <clears throat> Nigerians. Nigerians? <laughs> is an Iranian a thing? I yeah, think I'm just... I, if you're from Iran, you're Iranian. Okay. And if you're from America, you're American. 
That's usually how it works, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Next level stuff right here. Holy shit. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> development in the Jesse Smollett investigation. Chicago police have right. arrested two suspects in the case. Two suspects? Hey, bro, look. The two men spotted in that security camera right, we can footage. Pause it, we can pause it. We can pause it. Look at those fucking dudes. They're huge. If dudes. those two fuckers met you in an alley up. and actually had the intention of beating you up, you're gonna have a little bit more than a couple ribs cracked. Then a couple. No, he yeah. didn't have ribs cracked. They were bruises on his ribs. You're gonna have more than bruised ribs and two scratches on your fucking face. Absurd. Like, that dude's basically almost got a fucking eight pack. Oh. And the, easy. oh my God. Like, oh, I just, I don't just the incident. Here's what we've learned about the two bodybuilding brothers. Oh, they're bodybuilders! Is that Jesse Donald Glover's brother? A shocking turn with the arrest of <laughs> Is these it? two men. I'm both lying, know like... Smollett and have appeared on his TV show Empire as bid actors. Oh yeah, one of them has been on Empire too. Really? Yeah. Involved in an alleged crime. No, that's how we knew. Okay, first of all, first of all, let me, let me bring this back. Look at this dick root. Both of them got dick root going on. Did you hear that first from Joe Rogan? <laughs> I mean, I knew what dick root was before, but... Dude, he's yeah. claiming he invented the word. Really? Dick root, yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess maybe. I feel like I've heard it before, <laughs> but I could be wrong. Yeah. Like, like, this, this gene right here on the dude on the right is literally like an inch away from just pubic hair. Mm. And I can't see this one because of Inside Edition, but... I'm assuming you can see some pubic hair, and that's why they put it there. For sure. Like, oh. My God. What kind of fucking straight male to, or gay male? What, is, everyone, what are those faces? Listen, though? Like, they look like they just ripped ass. It is 2019. <laughs> everyone should be fucking shaving their fucking pubes. But yeah. All right. So this, this right here, what you're seeing, this magic taking place. This is gonna be a regular thing, okay? We're gonna put this on the channel. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not gonna go vlog. You know, of course, I'm going to make those videos, but uh, there's something very genuine and real about having conversations like this. And so we're going to continue to do so, especially with Drew. This was his idea. It, it really was, you know. And uh, in my last video, I did talk about having the idea in the back of my head, but that idea was very much planted by Drew. You know, having a podcast isn't a bad idea. You could do everything. It, it, which really, like, I've been trying a lot of everything. I'll put out a music video. My first video on this channel was a music video. Then I put out a vlog. And I put out a lot more vlogs. And then I put out <laughs> some music videos. And now, now we're putting out podcasts. So, you know, subscribe to everything. Smack like. Suck my dick. <laughs> Drew, any last words, buddy? You want to plug some social media? Um, I don't even know what my social media handles are. To be completely honest, I know Instagram is just at DrewCraft. It Some. Oh! He did something. Okay. Is it over?